Right, factorising the quadratic where the number in front of x squared is there. It's not just 1, so there's a 3. We start the same way. We're looking for numbers that add and numbers that times. Difference is here, when we're looking for the numbers that times, it's this number on the end times by whatever that number at the start was. So in this case, it's minus 45, and we're still adding to make the number in the middle 4. Look up here as the numbers that make 45. Uh, 5 and 9... Again, one of these has to be negative because we're trying to make minus 45. And if I end up on plus 4, I'm going to start on minus 5 and I'm going to add on 9. Because we've got this 3 here, we can't go straight to the brackets at this point. But well, the way we do it is we split this 4x into these two component parts. So this becomes minus 5x plus 9x. So we haven't changed this. We've just written it differently. 3x squared still at the start and minus 15 still in the end. And then... We factorise this twice, we factorise the first half, and we factorise the second half using simple factorising. So what's common in here and here, the only thing common is an x, and in the bracket we're going to get 3x minus 5. Keep whatever sign's in the middle, look at what's common in these, there's a 3 common in both of those, and we're going to get 3x minus 5 again. These two brackets have to be the same. If they're not, go back through, check where you've gone wrong because something's not right. And then that tells me our two final brackets are this repeated 3x minus 5. And the other bracket is formed of whatever's outside of the bracket. So x plus 3. Again, there's no equals on the end of this question. So it is just factorising. So we are just stopping at the brackets. And that is the end of the question.